In the shadows of internet folklore, an unusual topic has been lurking. Are there gay Slenderman characters? Now before we start, let's get one thing straight. This is a journey into the realm of fan fiction and creative interpretation. So buckle up because things are about to get both creepy and fabulous. First, let's recap who Slenderman is. Slenderman is depicted as a thin, unnaturally tall humanoid with a featureless white head and face wearing a black suit. That's our boy Slendy. Created in 2009 by Eric Knudsen aka Victor Sears on the Something Awful forums, Slenderman quickly became the internet's favorite nightmare fuel. He's like that one friend who always wears a suit to casual events, but way creepier with a penchant for stalking. People began debating his existence in real life. While many argued that he was the creation of the internet, others started posting old photographs where Slenderman appeared in the background. Now, you might be wondering, what does Slenderman have to do with the LGBTQ plus representation? Well, my curious friends, the horror genre has a long history of queer coding and subtext. It's like the genre itself is playing a game of hide and seek with queer themes, much like Slenderman plays with his victims. Here's where things get interesting. While the original Slenderman doesn't have a defined sexuality, I mean, does a faceless entity even need one? The beauty of internet culture is that fans can reimagine characters in countless ways. This is where gay Slenderman characters come into play. In the vast ocean of fan fiction and art, you'll find various interpretations of Slenderman as a LGBTQ plus character. Some depict him in romantic relationships with other male characters, while others explore the idea of a non-binary or a gender-fluid Slenderman. It's, it's like Slenderman went from stalking in the woods to strutting in pride parades. While gay Slenderman characters aren't canon, the existence in fan work speaks volumes about the desire for diverse representation in horror. It's like Slenderman has become a blank canvas, quite literally, for people to project their own identities and experiences onto. So, are they officially gay Slenderman characters? In the original lore, no. But in the wonderful world of fan creation and queer interpretation, absolutely. This phenomenon shows us how hungry audiences are for diverse representation even in the spookiest corners of the internet. In the end, horror is for everyone. Straight, gay, bi, trans and everyone in between. Whether Slenderman is giving you nightmares or staring in the next queer romance fan fiction, one thing's for sure, the internet will never cease to amaze us with its creativity.